Hey all, uh, this is uh, another part on uh, customizing or tweaking your XFCE4 interface. And uh, we talked about in the past of backing up your uh, profile, your config file as you go along. So let's do that now. Open your file manager and in the address bar type uh, dot config. Um, if you've done that a few times, it should auto complete. And let's just right click on this and select create archive. And we'll call it underscore, since we were talking about whisker, I'll just call it whisker, uh, the whisker start menu from the last video. Press enter, create, and there it is there. Okay. Now let's uh, go to our whisker menu. And you can type in panel. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, arrange some things just to show you that you can do it and what you can do. So let's go to the panel 2 and click this. We're going to remove it because we have pretty much everything we need in the uh, start menu. So we'll just click remove and confirm that. We'll go back to panel 1 and check un um, uncheck lock panel. And then items, uh, you can remove a whole bunch of things. But I'll just close this for now. So it's no longer locked. So you just take the handle here where the cursor changes and you can drag it down to the bottom or you could have to tell it to be left or right or whatever. Um, and then now we can change the whisker menu if you prefer to be at the bottom here. So we'll just uh, right click properties and position search entry next to panel bottom and the commands next to that as well and click close press the, your super key and you can now see it's the search is at the bottom okay now there's a couple of ways you can do things what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove things that I don't use but again you can get them back so I'm going to remove well, workspaces I'm going to remove time I'm going to remove username, the user, and then we'll go back to our panel, and under appearance, I'm sorry, under items, where it says window buttons, just click this one where it has a little wrench, and untick show handle, and that should give you a little more. And I like the uh, sh unticking show button labels because usually the icons are self-explanatory. Uh, notification area. Just uh, again edit that. So we'll close this part. Edit. And again show frame and it disappears on the bottom right. Uh, separator. Make sure it's transparent. That's fine and the whisker menu is fine and under display I'm going to bring this up a little bit to just for now say 40 might be a little too much and appearance bring the alpha down so it's a little more opaque or uh, transparent to about 50% 55 let's try 50 for now there we go and close so now we have a panel with nothing except for pretty much, uh, well, except for a couple of things. So what I should have done is uh, lock the panel. There we go, a little more uniform. Now we can add items uh, to your liking, of course. So back to panel, items. I find this is the easiest way because then you can drag, then you can select where they are position-wise. So Let's add something like a uh, a different clock or show desktop. So we'll add that. And you notice it's at the bottom right. So traditionally it's you know it's up quite a bit just above the window button. So you hit that and it shows desktop. If you want that. If you're not, then don't include it. You can get uh, weather. Uh, wave LAN, I find handy on uh, wireless, but uh, don't need that. 
in this case, but if you do, if you have wireless, it's kind of handy. Um, I think this uh, date and time, click add. Yeah, that's the one. And you might want to bring it up one. And you can also edit, uh, sh like show time then date and the type of uh, the format. Uh, it could be like a 12 hour. So we have uh, some items uh, now on here. Um, and you can also add your um, favorites from within Whisker, so you can like add terminal. And then um, now it says launcher. That's your that's the panel. It's just uh, we'll just bring that up. I usually like to keep it just before the window button, but again, that's up to you. So let's add another one. Uh, file manager, add to panel, and Firefox, add to panel. And either one, launcher, bring this up, and that's your uh, file manager. Okay, now I have the terminal open. You notice I have an underlying blinking cursor, and I ran across the XFCE4 documentation. What you do, um, it's in the uh, dot .config folder again, under XFCE4. And this wasn't created by default, this folder, terminal. And inside there is terminal RC. And if you open, uh, double click to open that. And, I, and it has uh, different instructions. I changed mine to this here, terminal, cursor, shape, underline. Um, I'll put the uh, link in the description where you can find, there's different ones you can use. Nothing too fancy, but I just like the underline. And since we turned uh, compositing on, you notice I have a little bit of a transparent background. From here, you can uh, get different themes. Um, I think I downloaded some. That would be under appearance. I'm not sure. Graybird's a nice theme. If you want icons. You can try different ones. Nimbus, Windows 7, XFCE4. That's kind of nice. Elementary XFCE, I'm sorry. So now you sort of have like an elementary looking. And if you go to back to your settings, um, wrong button, uh, window manager. Now you have to find something that uh, complements what you have. Graybird is in there as well. Or you can get Graybird Compact whatever you like so close that there we go so now we have uh, a more modern looking desktop I guess we have the uh, whisker menu with the search uh, for applications functionality and uh, quick access to uh, frequently used programs you can also just uh, just hit the super key and start typing log and it'll bring up the logout dialog, or you can, of course, I'll press cancel here. Okay, so that's that should pretty much cover everything. And oh, one more thing is, uh, since we've already um, done this, go back to our config, and we'll just again create another archive, and whatever you want, let's call it custom. one and it's only 5.2 kilobytes and the original is 3.4 so not much not very big and a lot of things information is backed up uh, for you and as I su suggested before you can upload these to a cloud service or put them on a USB drive or you know just back it up somewhere if you wish and uh, you can always get back to the original or where you were you can work on this you can try different uh, themes um, Yao Art has a lot of stuff but I usually look on the internet for um, XFCE4 themes and then see if Yao Art has them because it installs everything for you and it does, can, does the compiling and usually it works um, out of the box kind of thing not always but I find that handy 
Uh, I think that's that should be everything. Um, as I said, you can you can add another panel if you wish, like a hidden one that uh, opens at the side for different uh, functions. You can add more things for notification. Um, and actually, under notification, uh, depends on the theme. There's a theme as default, or you can have Graybird, and it shows you. That's kind of neat. And you can have the opacity, so you have more transparent. Preview it again, or maybe less, maybe even less. <laughs> you get the idea, okay? And like I said, that comes with the theme. Uh, that's where usually these notifications come. With. Okay, that was not too bad. Okay, so that should wrap up most of uh, tweaking your XFCE4 interface. Um, this, in this case, is under Arch Linux. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this useful. Questions, comments, uh, add them, and I'll try to answer you somehow. Okay, so uh, that should wrap this up, and uh, we'll talk to you soon, and uh, bye for now.